Okay, high flyers, you've been preparing yourself to manifest, maybe doing affirmations, and you're doing tapping, you're doing all kinds of exercises, perhaps you're doing the three by 33 exercise, and you're, you're asking yourself, what do I do now? I mean, while I'm waiting for my manifestation to manifest. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Hey, we just want to remind you to click the bell icon, subscribe, because we're here all the time to empower your life with the law of attraction. So you've begun a process of manifesting. Perhaps you've set an intention, you've written it down, you're doing affirmations, you're doing incantations, you're doing some sleep work, maybe even some hypnosis. But what do you do while you're waiting for your manifestation to manifest? Now, the interesting thing about manifesting is sometimes, sometimes it happens like that overnight. I mean, quickly and other times you almost get to the point where you you've given up. You, you just go, wow, it's never going to happen. I've given up. And then all of a sudden there it is. And you go, what was I thinking? Why was I willing to give up? And maybe that surrender process helped you to bring that manifestation from the invisible into the visible, into your life. Now it really doesn't matter whether it's money you're after or a new car, a new home, a dream vacation, an advancement in your career or the relationship and love of your life. You can have it all, but you have to know what to do while you're waiting for the manifestation to manifest. So some people will say that manifestation and how fast it comes depends on your level of belief, your level of certainty. And I'm not always certain that that is the case because I've known people who just said, well, I don't believe it. I don't disbelieve it. I'm just going to do it anyway. And it manifested. And sometimes it was big, like a million dollars. I tend to think it depends on your ability to put focus and energy into your manifestation and then surrender and let the universe do the heavy lifting, let the universe do the hard work for you. So high flyers in the Kabbalah, the ancient Kabbalah, there are four primary levels of manifestation. So the highest level is what we would call the Godhead or source energy or pure spirit. The next level down is called Bria. And this level deals with archetypal energies. So the top level is absolute. The next level is Bria. The third level deals with creation, the formation of all this energy into creative form. It's called yet and the bottom level is called a Sia. And this is the level of action. You can look at the chart here and you see the four levels for anything to manifest. According to the ancients, all four levels have to be in alignment. In other words, the highest level, the divine level has to be in alignment with the actions that you are taking in the physical world. So without getting too esoteric here, what happens is the length of time that it takes for all four levels to come into perfect alignment is the length of time it takes to manifest. Some things automatically are in alignment right from the beginning and they manifest instantly. 
Other things are way out of alignment. The four worlds are completely discombobulated as far as alignment is concerned. And it takes a while for your intention. That's the key. Your intention to put them back into alignment. One of the big keys to putting those four worlds into alignment and bringing about that manifestation that you desire quickly is to focus on the wish fulfilled. So many people are focusing on just the next step. And sometimes that that's important. Sometimes we do that, but always, always we are imagining we are visualizing and we are feeling as if the wish, whatever it is, has already been fulfilled. And we have to repeat this daily. This isn't a one-time thing. This is an all the time thing. This is how you think now. This is how you live now. And then we want to take that feeling, that positive feeling of the wish fulfilled and reduce it to a simple affirmation. Another thing that we can do while we are waiting for our manifestation, and I don't even like that word waiting because we're really not waiting. We know it's already present. While we're waiting for that manifestation to manifest is to remember this simple story. So back in the seventies, they took three and four year old children and they gave them choices. You can have two marshmallows later if you wait a certain length of time, or you can have one marshmallow right now and you don't have to wait. All the children wanted two marshmallows, but a lot of them settled for the one marshmallow. Later on in life, they checked up with these children around college age. They looked at their grades. They looked at their scores and guess what? The children that, had learned to delay gratification and wait for the two marshmallows. Those children did better in life. They did better in school. They had better grades. They were, they were able to adapt more. What did those children do? What was their secret in delaying gratification and putting off those two marshmallows for later? They refocused on other things that they enjoyed playing with their toys, putting together puzzles, coloring, painting, you know, finger dough, whatever they, they redirected their energy. And so the same is true with you and I, we set out that intention. We visualize the wish fulfilled. We do affirmations and then we have a list of other things that we want to do for ourselves that take our mind off the waiting. So high flyers by doing it this way, by creating, and I actually have my clients sometimes create a list of 10 or 20 things that they've always wanted to do that are simple things that they can do in their own home. Maybe they've always wanted to put together a jigsaw puzzle but they've never done it. They've always wanted to paint a painting or write a book, but they've always put it off. Now's the time to put your energy into those self-fulfilling activities. You see what happens is by doing that, you're allowing yourself to fall into alignment, which is helping those four worlds in your reality to fall into alignment as well. And thus, manifestation comes easier without effort. I know high flyers in my younger years, uh, manifestation was a bitch for me. I mean, it was, it was a struggle because I was always being plagued by negative energy. And a lot of it came from listening to the words of family members who kept telling me the only path in life is to get a job and work for the man. And I didn't, I didn't see that as my path, but here I was in this battle between myself and myself. Part of me said, get a job, work for the man. Another part of me said, create your own job, make your own destiny. And until I allowed myself time to, to believe what I really wanted to do 
and live, which is work with you and be with you until I, until I gave myself permission to do that. It was a struggle. Now manifesting is easy and effortless. Say it easy and effortless. Hey, you have a great day because you absolutely deserve it and click the bell icon and subscribe. And oh yeah, we have some other videos here for you as well.